Hi, this is Matt Kibbe, and I want to talk to you today about socialism. The S word is all in the news. Chris Matthews spent a lot of time last week trying to get Hillary Clinton to explain the difference between being a Democrat and being a socialist. Bernie Sanders is, is nipping at her heels in Iowa and New Hampshire, and he's a qualified socialist now. He's a Democratic socialist. And I wonder what that means. It seems to be the ongoing rebranding of the big government crowd. When I was a kid, they were liberals. And over time, the word liberal became the L word. You weren't allowed to use it anymore. And liberals became progressives. Progressives, of course, go back to the late 1800s when it was a very authoritarian, very top-down, very elitist philosophy that, that, that literally believed that some people were smarter than the masses. That's where we are today, and apparently, progressives not radical enough. So now Bernie Sanders is a socialist, but a democratic socialist, and I wonder what the difference is. A socialist, by definition, is someone that wants to see the elimination of the monetary economy, the elim elimination of prices, and, and literally the elimination of private property. It's always been this uh, utopia sort of thing that's never been achieved by anyone. But to get from here to socialism requires a lot of centralized power. You have to give up your liberty. You have to give control to government to rearrange things from the top down. In practice, that's been a disaster. In practice, that's killed millions of people. In practice, it's led to abject poverty and all sorts of problems across the world. So now we're not socialists anymore. We're democratic socialists. And apparently that means engaging the people in the process of getting to socialism it means redistributing income, as Bernie Sanders would say. It means moving from corporate America having the first seat at the table in politics to, to shifting that power back. But it's, it's fundamentally a contradiction. Democracy, to me, means disintermediation. Democracy means shifting power away from government back to the people. Democratic socialism can't possibly mean that. At best, it can mean the majority of the people that show up to vote taking stuff from the other people that didn't win that vote. That's no different in practice than plain old socialism. And plain old socialism is a disaster for people. So I get back to the question, if the Democrats are not socialists, what are they? If they don't believe in centralizing power with the federal government, what is the alternative? I happen to believe the alternative is liberty. The alternative is voluntary cooperation. And that means getting power out of government and shifting control back to you, your family, your community, solving problems from the bottom up. It really comes down to that. Do you believe in the genius of America from the bottom up? Or do you believe in the genius of government, the genius of socialism from the top down? That's the question.